Hey everybody, this is Jacques Gaines, and today we're going to be talking about two software, and we're going to be comparing them head to head. One is Luminar Neo, and the other one is Aperti. Now, why are we comparing this software? Well, one, they're both by the same company, so why would you get one over the other? And two, they're both AI-based photo editing software. So let's start comparing and checking out what they can do with a portrait. And we'll get to that right now. Guys, just before we start this video, I want to make sure that you understand that I have affiliate links to both these software. I have no motivation to want you to take one or the other, but I do have affiliate links within the description. So if you like the software and you want to support the channel, just go into the description, click below, and you can get yourself some good prices. Click on the link and buy it. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Real quick, like I'm just going to go through a bit of a definition of both software. If we go into the actual pages of the software, you can see that Aperti is very specific to doing edits for portraits. They specifically say that we are an AI portrait editing software, crafting exceptional portraits every time. That's what they're all about in Aperti. Now, if you go over to Luminar Neo, you're looking at a software that is there to AI edit any photo you have and right away when you look on the first page you see a landscape photo they can do sky replace they can do sky enhancement they can use ai to come out with really cool solutions it does a lot of stuff so if you are planning to just do portraits watch the rest of the video but if you plan to do a lot of other stuff don't watch this video because we are comparing a portrait editing software to a general software luminar neo does in itself have portrait editing so you might be able to just live with the portrait editing that you're doing within luminar neo and buy that package so let's get into the software. Now I'm gonna do a very quick tour of Luminar Neo so you can see how the software works. You have the catalog panel, the presets panel, and the edit panel. We'll be looking at the edit panel today because we wanna show you how you can edit a portrait within Luminar. I have pre-edited this photo right here if you look at the uh this is before and this is after before and after now luminar neo does a great job i've been using this thing as a plugin within photoshop and a standalone for years and i love the software if you look on the side here of the panel you look and you check out the edit panel you have this one section right here for portraits some really good robust edits that you can do in here body ai for me has worked for the years that i've used it it's incredible if you want to thin out a body or bulk up a body a tiny bit this slider will do the trick the skin ai in here the adjustments to actually just clean out the skin and get rid of blemishes it does a fantastic job Okay, over here, face AI is really good as well. You can play with the mouth, so you can whiten the teeth, you can enhance the eyebrows, you can enhance the general look of the face. You can do an amazing job on the eyes, like I've done here. here I'll just show you what it looked like before the eyes and now. So you can see Luminar Neo as a portrait editor does a fantastic job, it really does. Uh, you can also play with face light and you can slim the face. This is another tool that I've used in the past few years a lot. And the slim face feature on this thing is really kick butt. It really does a fantastic job. Portrait bokeh, I cannot show you in this picture because there's nothing in the background. But let's say you take a picture in the park and everything in the back is in focus and you'd like to isolate the subject. You just take the slider in portrait bokeh and lift it up and everything in the back blurs and it isolates the subject. Studio light is one of the most underestimated features in Luminar Neo I have ever seen. You can relight the studio and relight your subject the way you like. <laughs> It's just really quite cool. I mean, I could get into it, but that's the subject of another video. So I've gone over what happens within Luminar Neo. But if you look over here, you have a whole section for landscape. So you can play with landscapes. You have the essentials, which is just normal. You have stuff like, uh, for example, in develop, you'll have exposure, smart contrast and everything. 
Luminar Neo approaches every type of photo. So in here you can have enhanced AI, sky AI, you can replace the sky, you can do a lot of stuff in here. And so there's a lot of cool features in it, but it doesn't specialize in portrait editing. What I think the people at Skylum did is they took this one portrait panel and they went nuts. And they said, let's play with this and let people have fun using AI and customization together, sort of a hybrid approach to portrait editing. I guess a lot of people over there are very passionate about portrait editing because some of the, um, some of the things you can do within your edits are absolutely incredible. So let's do that right now. So guys, when you open your software, you're gonna be shown most likely the adjustments panel, which is great. It shows you the thing you need to know the most. And within this panel, you have everything you need to do basic edits when you import a photo. So you can play with the temperature, the curves, the exposure, you can move the exposure up or down. If you go down to the bottom, you can play with curves. So it's very well organized. Now over here, we also have crop where you can actually do some composition here. We won't do any composition for today. Uh, you have the face adjust panel right here. We're gonna have some fun with that today and see how it's different from a Luminar Neo. I'm not gonna do much here. Uh, most people know how this works. This is the basics, it really is the basics. So we're gonna go right into the face, make sure it's defined as female, male, teen, child, elderly, that is not the case here. We can go into skin blemish and work with that. So let's zoom in here. There's a couple of blemishes there, not a lot. So we move this up and see how that does. Let's use the slider to check it out. Whoa. That's pretty good. What I notice is this little dot right here, it didn't touch it. It didn't take that out, which I'm kind of liking. That is very good so far. Uh, you can work with some of the details. Let's go to face skin. And this is a test for me right here because skin smoothing is 90% of the time all this AI stuff does a terrible job and the person looks like a doll afterwards. So let me move this up. Just play with it a bit. Whoa, holy moly, that looks good. Let me see this. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Whoa. Wow. That's impressive, guys. Seriously, that is really impressive. That did an excellent job for that. That is very good. That's that's better than a Luminar right there. There's no doubt about that. It kept the naturalness and the pores in the skin, but smoothed out everything. Now, if I just, for the heck of it, go really quick and check this out. You can see here that we lose a bit of that naturalness and it becomes a bit dreamy. As you can see, the, the face skin section right here is a lot bigger than the face than the skin section within uh, Luminar Neo. All you got you got here is amount and shine removal. That's it. And uh, you can also press skin defects removal, which I find is extremely ineffective. Doesn't really work that well. I don't like it. So um, yeah, that's very nice. And you can play with these as well. Let's go to the eyes and see how well we can play with the eyes and do something with the eyes. Okay, so we got rid of blemishes. Let me see this, just press this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but from my screen view, let me just see, so press this to, blunt, to take away the effect. This is the skin smooth, and this is without That is really good. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now let's go to eyes. Um, well, eyes, original iris, but I guess you can pick the color of the eye. Uh, yeah, eye enhancement. That's just straight slider. See what happens. Let me just look there. There's a bit of a blur as it processes. Uh, we'll see if that is an issue later on. Eye whitening. 
same as in Luminar. We have that in Luminar, by the way, in eyes. If we go to face eyes right here, you have eye whitening, eye enhancer, and all of those. Iris Flare is also in Luminar. Basically does the same thing. Uh, redness removal is new, so I guess that's taking away veins. That's it would seem to be the case. Let me move my eye enhancement all the way to the top, see what happens. And let's use the, the bar to see what it does to the eye. Uh, it's very impressive. Very, very good. Very, very good. I like that a lot. I'll bring that down. Now the mouth, we don't have any teeth here, but let me check it out. We go to mouth, teeth whitening and teeth brightening. That's new. We only have teeth whitening within Illuminar Neo. So you go here. Okay, and we go to mouth and we have teeth whitening right here. That's it. When we go into here, we have teeth whitening and teeth brightening. Now here is a new thing that they brought in. And I don't know if any of you guys know about Portrait Pro. Uh, that software I do not like at all, but they do offer you the ability to play with makeup. Let's go in here. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. So right off the bat, I can tell you, you can play with makeup in here and you cannot do any of that in Luminar Neo. So let's just close all the panels so we're in the right panel. Makeup, let's just do this. I wanna see what it does. And uh, this is not a good example to play with this. You can also play with contour. Let's see that. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That is cool. Whoa. I need a slider on this. Okay. Let's get the slider. Okay. You got to look right here under the jawbone to see the contour. Boom. Boom. Whoa, that is really cool. You have blush, contour, highlights, eyeliner, and eyebrow enhancement. Wow, that's cool. Let me see that. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Let me see that. Can everyone see the subtleness of all that stuff being done? I'm impressed. I'm impressed again. There you go. So we go here. This is what I had before over here. That's before. And that's the after. And we go to Aperty. Now, the, the, the result that I'm seeing right off the bat that's amazing is how, how can I say, how it's natural. It looks natural and it doesn't look fake in the Aperty software, especially the makeup. Let's say you do a shoot and the makeup isn't great. You can play with this. You can have some fun with that. Now, in the other photo that I had with uh, Luminar, I did thin the face, as you can see here. So the face gets thinner. Okay, let's see how face thinning works in Aperty. Okay, face AI. Oops, I'm in the wrong one. Cool. That's that's pretty incredible. Okay, uh, mouth makeup. Mouth. Okay, so we've gone through everything here that involves the face, which is skin, blemishes, eyes, mouth, and then the makeup on those things. So they, uh, the people at Skylum organized it well. They started from top down. You work your edit down here. Skin, blemish, face, skin. You take care of your blemishes. You take care of the skin. That's great. That's really cool. Very well guided. And then we press this button right here, which is reshape. And we can reshape all these things, which you do not get in Luminar. In Luminar, all you get is thin face. That's it. So they came out with a new panel called reshape. So we can slim the face. That's probably going to work very well since it's from the same company. Okay. Let's look at that in the before and after. Boom. Oh, that's that also. <laughs> that's incredible. 
Oh, uh, I don't think it's a bit any better than uh, than in Luminar Neo, but they're just as good. Both of them are good. You can play with the eye shape. In Luminar Neo, all you can do is make eyes bigger, which is not always convincing. It doesn't always work. So you can play with the eye shape. I'm not maybe not the guy to test uh, for this because I'm not a big fan of uh, morphing eyes. Nose bridge shape. Oh yeah, that is nuts. Nose tip shape. I'm trying to see what it's doing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you can play. What's really cool is they also show you the dot from where you started from, which is cool. Very nice. Let's go see so what we can do in lip position. Upper lip shape. Lip square. Wow, that's incredible. Cool. Body, we can't really affect the body that much. Maybe we can maybe thin in her a bit just to see. Yeah, okay. So we made her thinner. There we go. She's thinner. And uh, body AI within Luminar is just as good and really, really great. So there you go, guys. You guys, here's what I think. Let me look at this real quick. I'll pull this up. Let it process. It seems to have to process for each preview. There you go. I think we're about at the same size. There you go. That's Luminar Neo. Now, what I did to this is not the same. I didn't do any any uh, lighting of the other subjects. So, but I personally think that this one has a more natural feel to it when it comes to the portrait. So, let me just let that pop up. There you go. Now, there are other things in the software, and I'm going to start approaching them and looking at them and talking to you about them. But what I can tell you now, for now, is what is this? Who is Aperti for? Aperti is for anyone who has put a priority on portrait photography. You'll want to go get that software. And that's me. It really is me. Whatever I do in landscape, well, I can do with just a couple of sliders within Lightroom and uh, within my Photoshop that I already have. But I definitely think that this software could be really great. First of all, as a plugin for Photoshop, I think it would be fantastic. Uh, as a standalone as well, you can use this as a standalone. And it's for those people who just do portrait photography. And if you do, then you can get into the details and you can go right into the nitty gritty of each portrait you take. You guys, there you go. There it is. That is Luminar, and this is Aperti. You guys, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, I do have affiliate links. You can pop into the description and click on those links when you do and you buy the software through me, either Aperti or Luminar Neo. You get yourself a, a good price, and it supports the channel over here. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.